Hello, everybody, and welcome to I'm on Observation Duty. So, um, this is not the first time I've attempted to uh, record a playthrough of this. Um, the other day, I recorded and I found later on that the audio was not, um, you know, it was getting finicky. So, I ended up having to reconfigure my settings, and I feel like everything should be uh, more properly adjusted. So, hopefully, the audio sounds all right to you guys. Um, I'm on Obs uh, Observation Duty is basically a spot the difference type game uh, like meets Five Nights at Freddy's. So we're just going to jump right in uh, the old house and we have to survive until 6 a.m. We have to look around these rooms and spot out anything that might be amiss and it can vary in a number of uh, different ways. And uh, good, let me just read this message to y'all real quick. Attention all employees. Numerous anomalies have been detected lately. Pay extremely close attention to the surveillance camera footage and file an anomaly report as soon as possible when you notice something has changed. Great, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> so, uh, right, we have uh, five different rooms. So the balcony, the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen, and the restroom, toilet, bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and the, the anomalies that happen can vary in a number of ways. Like they can be as big as this guitar or this, um, this bed moving to another position or these paintings changing. Or they can be as uh, small and unnoticeable as like I think the I think these are like pills or something on this desk over here, but um, like if some of those disappear, then yeah, there's like small differences like that that can happen too. Um, so to file a report, you press on that bot uh, button in the bottom corner. You can select the room and the anomaly type that the uh, anomaly is appearing and doing whatever in. Um, so we just got to be vigilant, which. So far, I've been successful a couple of times now. Um, the last session that I tried to um, record, um, I did like two, I ended up playing for like two and a half hours um, because I kept dying because I sucked. So hopefully, this is just a at least like a thirty-minute uh, playthrough is what I'm aiming for. Oh God! Okay, so there you go. There's a, a difference in one of the paintings, and it's uh, not fun. Toilet painting anomaly. Great. Um, yeah, hopefully it's just a 30 minute long video, so to speak. Um, because every minute in the game is five seconds in real life. So if that tells you anything. Um, yeah. Oh, also, um, for people, um, who are watching that don't like jump scares, there are a number of jump scares in the video. So, um, yeah, you, you have been warned. And actually, if anyone out there is watching um, and, you know, decides to write down the timestamps for the jump scares. You are a saint, you are a savior, and I hope that your uh, the rest of your month or week or day, whatever, um, goes quite splendidly for you. You deserve it. So, <laughs> doing the Lord's work, as I say. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us continue to search for anomalies. Of which I don't think I've seen any, if I'm being honest. Um, I hope. Wait, did that box just twitch? I think it. Yeah, it's twitching. Okay. So, yeah, the stuff like that can also happen too, and it's very unnoticeable unless you look at it for a long enough time. So, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I saw it. Because that would have been complete bullshit if I didn't catch that. Um, I think that plant on the dining room table sometimes will twitch too or something. Um, so I'll have to watch out for that. There's a lot of things I'll have to watch out for, but... Um, yeah. So of course the night starts off uh, slowly. The anomalies come um, more frequently uh, towards the end of the night. Um, so we're going to see that happen, which will be fun. And um, they're usually pretty um, varied throughout each 
uh, round, I'd say. But I feel like some uh, anomalies occur more often than others. And I don't know if that's, like, intentionally programmed or anything. Um, or if that's just, you know, happenstance, if that's random, like, probability, and I just happen to have those odds. Um, but it's cool to see nonetheless, I think. Um, so I that makes me wonder if there's something super rare that I haven't caught yet on um, on any of my playthroughs. Personal or recorded or otherwise, so. Um, hmm. I don't see anything else yet. I think that chair moved um, in the kitchen. Yeah. I think, weren't they all supposed to be pushed in? Oh, also, the, the grandfather clock chimes. So it's 1 a.m. Great. Please get it right. Yes. Ugh. I'm so much better than I... Well, than I was previously. I feel like I would not have noticed that at all. In fact, I don't think I remember ever noticing that before. Like, that feels new and different to me, so... Good on me. <laughs> hmm. Is there anything... Anything happening at all? Um... I'm not noticing anything. I feel like this is a problem. Oh, that's something. Um, toilet. That's like a sha- yeah, shadow anomaly. It's not a person standing on top of- well, as far as I- Maybe it's a ghost, maybe it's a poltergeist that's casting a shadow, I don't know. Outside of, like, the game's logic. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. So, I think the idea with um, this series, because I do want to make like a series out of it, um, I would like to do maybe like a bi-weekly upload of each level or something from each game. There is um, currently six installations uh, in the franchise, and I'm going to play all of them except for the third one because I hear that most people dislike the third one because it... Um, it, it does this weird thing where it strays away from the usual formula of, you know, sitting, uh, watching surveillance uh, footage. Like, I think in that one you actually have free roam abilities and you can go around and, you know, do whatever. Oh, there's a, a shadow of a box that isn't there as far as I know, so thank you for making yourself known. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to try to cover as much of the series as I can, because, you know, why not? I need something other than just Minecraft. I want to be, you know, I want to have variety on my channel, because I can't just, I feel like I can't just be known for one thing, you know? Hmm. Let's see. Is there... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, all the rooms are still on here. So, yeah, basically these anomalies, um... They can vary in a number of ways. So, uh, like, a, a, an abyss presence is basically when you see a little hole that's slowly expanding. Um, a camera malfunction is basically if there's a room that doesn't show up in the sequence. A door opening, extra object. Uh, ghosts and intruders. Ghosts are usually transparent, and intruders are, like, actual people, and they look weird as hell. Um, light anomalies, if there's a light being cast somewhere um, that shouldn't be kind of like the shadow anomaly. Objects can uh, appear, disappear, move around. There can be paintings that change and other kind of just um, is something that doesn't fit into any of those categories. So be on the lookout. And definitely, so um, and definitely go out and, um, you know, buy this game, purchase this game and play this game for yourself. Um, because I feel like the... Um, I feel like the developer developers really uh, you know deserve, uh, deserve it. This is a good game, um, and actually, this is I think the cheapest one um, out of the bunch because I think it was just like three dollars uh, before tax on Steam. So, yeah, if uh, if you have the time, def uh, definitely go out and give this game a shot yourself. Oh, those headphones moved. Uh, that's not the bedroom. It's a living room. 
Yeah, so um, I do... I, I, I have um, seen other people play this uh, game and series before, and I feel like uh, out of all of them, my favorite was uh, the game Grumps, well, because like I absolutely love the Grumps, um, and I feel like, um, well, you know, there's two of them. It's not just one person playing uh, by themselves like I am right now, uh, because like they can actually like communicate and fill in the the silence without pointless meandering when it comes to what they're gonna say next and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's. <sighs> It's just, it would be nice if I had a person with me to be able to, like, well, help me and not, so I can not be, uh, totally afraid on my own, you know? Um, and, and yeah, it'd be nice to have, like, an extra set of eyes to help me spot the differences if I, uh, miss anything on my own. Um, yeah, I think the limit is, like, four anomalies. Like, if you... If you fail to report four anomalies, because they, um, you know, they start appearing more and more, and you know, at the same time and stuff. Um, and if you fail to report them, then that's how you get a game over. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try my best. And and th yeah, that would be um, incredible if I had an extra person with me to you know play this game with. But it's fine. I can probably handle it on my own. I mean, I've beaten this game twice now. Um, like, I just did one brief run-through before I started recording. Um, and then I... Oh, that plant is switching, finally. See, look, I, I talked about it earlier, and now it's actually happening. I manifested it. Um, yeah, I did one um, run-through of it and beat it before I... Um, started the first recording session, and then I did the recording session, but then I found that the audio was wonky, and... Oh, hey, that's an abyss. Let me just report it. Um, so it goes away. Yeah, um, there's a few... Like, there's a few anomalies that, um, you know, you don't have to report right away, but there's others that if you take too long, um, then they will just instantly kill you. Like, you will get an instantly, uh, game over. Well, I don't know if you actually die or not, or if it's, like, um, your camera just gets ruined, because I assume that we're in a remote location doing the surveillance, because why would we be in the house if all of this weird paranormal stuff is happening? Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, outcome is when we get a game over for real, but... I guess I will leave it up to the imagination. It's more fun to kind of guess. Well, I, I guess that's why the developers left it to the imagination so that the player could guess, but whatever. Um, God, I feel like, oh, hey, there's, there's like a globe in that chair over there. I was about to say, I'm noticing a whole lot of nothing and then there's an extra object sitting in a chair right in front of me. I will take it. Um, yeah, not noticing anything else at the moment besides that. Hmm. Um, I don't think anything is different yet. Now that I've, uh, cleared that anomaly. Yep. Whole lot of nothing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're all still here. All the rooms, all the cameras are still functioning. I don't know. I don't see anything else yet. And there's also like um, minor reflections in my screen because I well I have the lights on and stuff, but like um, if the screen even moves just a little bit, I start to think that it's something in the game that moves, and I'm like, wait, is that a thing? Should I report it? <laughs> and then it ends up being wrong, and I'm just confused. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of a. I mean, now that I have a better understanding of what a lot of the anomalies are, um, you know, <gasps> uh oh, uh oh. There's a guy coming, uh, outside, intruder. Oh god, he's coming. Look at him waddling over here. Oh god! 
Go away! Oh, God! Okay. Uh, <laughs> you look at him. He's all... The intruders in this game are weird and gross. Yeah, go away. You are unwelcome on the premises. Although I don't know whose house uh, this belongs to, so I don't really have a say in the matter, I guess. But I am still responsible for evicting him, I guess, so there's that. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so I think, um, I'm aiming to have this game go up on Tuesday the, oh, I don't know, it's like the 11th or 12th or something. Um, today, well, now it's Sunday. Oh, 3 a.m. Great. Great timing. Um, or no, sorry, it's Saturday. I forgot what day it was. Um, oh, God, okay. Um, <laughs> hold on. There's a ghost... He, uh, in the kitchen. He's making scrambled eggs or something. He's scrambling the camera, that's for sure. That was aggressive. <laughs> oh, that painting's different, too. Okay. Oh, wait, no, is it different? It looks different. I might be crazy. Bedroom painting anomaly. Painting. Maybe that painting wasn't different. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, God. Now I'm actually spooked. Oh, and that cigar is missing on the table in a little petri dish looking deal. Uh, oh, so that painting was fine. Uh, there's a disappearance of some kind of object. If it's not a cigar, it's probably a blunt, so... <laughs> I have no idea. Um... I don't smoke, by the way. I don't condone it, but do as you please. Who am I to stop you, you know? but I don't condone it. Um, please give me something. We're halfway through already, so that's nice. And I still haven't gotten a warning yet. Like, um, if you miss a couple of anomalies, um, you know, through uh, throughout the game, you get one warning to be like, uh-oh, there's multiple active anomalies, make sure you report them, and it's like, oh, great, okay. Um, so you get that one warning, and then that's it. And then you don't know if you reach that threshold again, and if you still fail to notice any other anomalies going on, you're- oh, hey, speaking of anomalies, hello, dude, that's on my computer. <laughs> I don't want your OnlyFans, go away- er, that's not an intruder. I don't want your OnlyFans. <laughs> go away. Um, right. I don't see anything else. It's a whole lot of nothing as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I feel like that painting is different now. Hold on. Bedroom. Painting anomaly. I feel like that's different now. It looks different. Different than I last uh, remember it, anyway. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was. That was it. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, it was like a, a, a child. And it was caught in multiple frames, so it looked like an apparition. Um. Anything else? Like, I do want an intruder, but like at the same time, I don't. Because I want there to be some kind of action in the video. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to be jumped. I mean, that ghost head was already something, so... <laughs> It's like it's like if it was a, a a a transparent mannequin head that somebody's just like you know jiggling in front of the camera and also jiggling the camera around next to I don't know. <laughs> um yeah.
I'm still not noticing anything else yet. Oh, except that chair that moved in the kitchen. Hello. Uh, Kit Chen. Object movement. Brilliant. Yep, report. Report, please. Um. Alright. Anything else different around here? It's hard to tell sometimes. But you know what? At this point, I feel like I'm gonna uh, know the level by the back of my hand, so. <laughs> I played it enough times. I played it probably like a total of seven times by now. It's four in the morning. It's actually past 4.30 at the time of recording this. I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, but, you know, at least it's on a weekend. So, that, yeah, that's all that matters. I don't care if it's on a weekend. Um, hmm. Especially because, like, I, like, being a, a college, uh, being a college student and stuff, I am, like, you know, I could always record it during the day, um, you know, well, cause, especially because, like, I have um, a lot of online classes uh, during this semester and the next semester. So, if I wanted to, I could record in my room, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. Um, I don't want any interruptions from my roommate or to be interrupting him, even though I'm sure that um, I, well, he probably wouldn't care anyway. Um, but, like, yeah, I just go off elsewhere and do my recordings and yeah <laughs> oh that little um safe i was gonna say safety deposit box um there's an object disappearance of that uh safety kit that was on the wall safety deposit box yeah no that's not what that uh what it is as far as i know so <laughs> um hmm Okay, okay. Nothing else out of the ordinary. Nothing extraordinary. Is that different? I don't think any of the um, silverware or the plates um, ever really change. Or have changed anyway. They, they might change, but I don't feel like I've ever seen that happen. Oh, good thing I caught that. Slidey guitar sliding on the ground. Like when you slide on the strings and it makes that weird uh, sound. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what technique that's called, but I'm sure there's a name for it. No, I don't play guitar, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. Well. I don't know. What am I missing? Is there anything I'm missing? <laughs> to create that voice, I had to like frown my lips a lot, and I'm sure I looked hilarious. Um, I oh hey, there's a light anomaly. Okay, living room light anomaly. Something's producing that light that sh shouldn't be. Well, there's nothing producing that light as a actual problem. <laughs> It's just kind of there. It's coming from nowhere. Hmm. Where are the anomalies? Um, I was gonna say, uh, face cam. I probably... I, I'm debating what to use face cam for, because I feel like I wouldn't really use it for... all oh, that painting is different. Ugh. Um... I don't really intend to use face cam for games uh, very frequently, but for other types of content, I feel like I would uh, use face cam for. But I'm still looking to see uh, what's out there. I definitely need um, a USB um, hard drive stick. That would be nice. Because I feel like I won't have to worry about um, storage or anything because lord knows I need it <laughs> um the last time um I tried to record this game I kept running into um recording issues because of like the lack of um you know disk space 
Oh, there's writing on the door. Uh, toilet. Other. In my dream, you had no face. Oh. So I'm Slender Man. Okay. Maybe I should play that. I mean, it's been 10 years since, like, the, you know, sl the original Slender game came out or whatever. So maybe I should play that as, like, a revisit. We'll have to see. Hmm. I mean, this is a good, um, I feel like this game, despite, um, how uneventful it can be for a lot of the, you know... Oh, hey, there's a, uh, there's a strobe light that shouldn't be there. Uh... I feel like this is a good gateway, like, into getting into, um, the horror games aspect of my channel. Also, we got to 5 a.m. already, that's crazy. Alright. We're almost in the home stretch. So far I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing unless I'm just being really oblivious right now. Yep, I can't tell. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. They are all here again. Okay. I mean, I haven't lost a camera yet, so I guess I technically... Well, you know, whatever. Oh, that painting flipped. Uh, living room. It's a movement. Not a painting anomaly. The painting would have to change. Um. Okay. Is there anything else? God, I don't know if... I don't think those chairs have swapped or anything. I feel like um, the one facing this window or the painting or whatever to the right uh, and the other one facing the other painting would swap um, at some point. They don't turn, I don't think. Well, that would be stupid if they turned into their current orientations, but... um, Yeah. No, I don't think they switched. Hmm. I don't think I'm missing anything yet still. Which is weird because it's already almost 5.30. <laughs> and I feel like there would be a lot more um, anomalies by now. So I feel like I should be worried. The panic is uh, settling in for me. Oh boy. I still haven't gotten that warning yet, so I feel like I'm about to. Oh, hey. Floating fire extinguisher? Great. Object movement, yeah. Why is there a fire extinguisher in the bathroom? I mean, I don't see anything besides this light fixture that could, you know, spontaneously combust. Like, is your toilet gonna explode? Is it gonna... Is the sink gonna combust? Tell me that. <laughs> It's not even hanging on a wall, it's just sitting there. On the ground. Where someone could trip over it. <laughs> Imagine, like, getting out of the shower, and, you know, of course you just, like, have your towel on or whatever, like, assuming you, um, you know, assuming you don't change in the bathroom or something. And, like, you just trip over this heavy, this giant, heavy-ass fire extinguisher that's just sitting there for no goddamn reason, really. Like... That would that would be the worst. That would make my day the worst. Oh, speaking of making my day worse, there's a man outside. There's an intruder. And I don't like that. Go away. I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. Go away. <laughs> oh man. God. Like that's the worst, um, Aspect like when you think about it and like apply it to real life like you never know um, When there's just a creepy man looking into your window creepy man or creepy woman just a creepy person um, Trespassing into like your property and then staring into your house Like that is the worst 
idea or like you know thought like I, I, I like I'm glad that um so like my um my dorm room is not on the ground floor which I'm glad for um like I don't have to deal <laughs> with any potential creeps or anything um so I'm like yay great um next year though I have no idea where uh in the building like because i'm going to come back to the same building of course i don't know where um my like available move-in uh selection will be so we will find out later <laughs> also the game's almost over and nothing else has happened so it's kind of anticlimactic but you know i i will take the win oh there's a mannequin out there uh well, I didn't have to report it. We win. <laughs> we win. All right, so that was the first round of uh, I'm on observation duty. I think I'm going to cut this episode here and then start recording for the next one, but um, it will not come out until a couple weeks from uh, Tuesday, whenever this goes up. If you liked everything you saw in this video, make sure to like, click, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on when future content comes out from me. My name's Peyton, signing off. Bye!